Hi, I'm Gemma from Creation Campus and this is our newest van that we've just built. It's on a um, 2021 Fiat Ducato. Come in and have a look. So this van is a two berth van with a full shower room as well. We've got a large fixed bed at the back, which is actually six foot long by six foot wide. Um, we build these vans to the customer's requirements, to their design and their colour schemes. So they wanted a really, really large bed, which it hasn't got the mattress on at the moment. <laughs> so I apologise about that one. We've got lovely lighting all the way around the top of the cupboards which you know of an evening you can switch off all your main lights and just have your mood lighting on which just gives it a really really nice subtle glow in the kitchen we've got a nice size sink and hob i love these sink and hobs because they're not they don't feel like cheaper camper van sinks it's got a really nice size bowl and it's got really nice cast iron pan holders on it which gives it the feel of like a household quality sink and hob which is really nice we've got a nice size oven down there and it's got an oven with a grill as well we've got a drawer for storage down here and we've got a large amount of storage in the in the kitchen which is going to be great for food and pots and pans we've even got a microwave as well in this van which is really really handy and the fridge is down here and that's a really nice size fridge as well the bathroom is a really really good size we can have you know it's got a full shower space for your toothbrushes and storage for all your toiletries we've also got a nice seating area at the front so the driver's seat and the passenger seat swivel and then we've got two traveling seats as well in the back so it's a nice area for four people to sit and eat and we've got a table as well on all the windows in this van we've got blinds all the windows fully open and then there's got fly screens as well so if you're somewhere where there's loads of flies and insects it's really good that you can have your windows open but you've got the protection from the insects that you don't want in your van and we've even got blinds on all the front windows as well And these are really nice because you don't even you can't even tell that you've got blinds on when they're open because it's a compact van you don't get much um worktop space so we've built in a handy little flat we've got overhead cupboards all the way around this van which is great for additional storage And then here we've got all our controls so we've got all our electrical controls which shows you the state of your batteries it shows you how full or empty water tanks are we've got our truma 4 e heating system in here which does all the hot water and also the heating system as well so it gets really really toasty and it's all controlled by gas so even when you're not on a campsite you can still be warm and have warm water for a shower We've got an underslung LPG tank on this van so you haven't got to mess around trying to find bottles to exchange. You can just go to a petrol station that sells LPG and fill up your tank which is really really handy. And the cost of the gas is cheaper compared to the cost of bottled gas which is really helpful to keep costs down in the future. We've also got light switches and that is the bathroom light switch. And this is a gas alarm system that we've got so it's a 12 volt and it senses three types of gases and there's another gas alarm down here in the kitchen so we've got one low down and one high up extra peace of mind that you are going to be safe in your vehicle so we've also got a television as well in this van which is really good because it folds up out the way you can watch it while you're in bed 
but also you can swivel it round to watch it when you're sitting at the front seats as well. So we've got white gloss panel into the ceiling and also to the walls which give the van a really really crisp feel to it. Should we go and have a look in the garage? So we've got a really really large garage in this van which is going to be so handy for putting all your stuff in, whatever, you know, bikes. The rafter and the awning pole for the Fiamma awning. We've got our Trumet and all our electric stores in the garage. So this van has also got solar panels on the roof. So it can be used off grid. You've got your hot water, your heating and your hot water all run off gas. You've got your solar panels to keep your batteries topped up. So there's really no need to even have to go on a campsite for electric hookup, which is fantastic. So what's really good about these electric steps that even if you forget that you've got it out, when you start your engine, it automatically pulls it in, which is just fantastic. So externally on this van, we've got a Fiamma awning and we've also got a light, which is fantastic of a night. It does not cast a really, really nice light. Come round the other side. I really like these windows. It's the first time we've ever used these. These are quite new to the market and they are blackout as well, which is really good. And they are double glazed and fully open. Here we've got our electric hookup point. I love these new whale sliders. You haven't got no flaps. They just slide up and they slide down, which is really good. And we've also got one here for the water to fill up your tanks. We've got our exhaust for our Truma, the toilet, emptying compartment. <laughs> and down here we've got the taps where you can drain your wastewater or your fresh water if needed. And this is where you fill up your LPG. I love the colour schemes in this van. It's such a modern twist with the gloss grey and the white as well. It really does make it feel quite roomy as well.